oops first of all I'm gonna take this first skin triple click it hit um, make component create and this one I'm gonna actually make it into um, a half and then copy the other half over and let's find the halfway point which is right here That's basically what you're doing is connecting the dots. Now there are plugins out there that'll make this a little bit easier. So remember to offset your your uh, formers there enough to allow for the skin to fit. Okay, so there we go. Now you'll notice that these faces are reversed. So let's click on these faces and hit reverse faces. So they're the same. Let's triple click this and hit make component. And then what we'll do is using our move tool and clicking control, we'll make a copy of this. And you'll notice when you pull it out, the uh, axis is along the green. So you want to right click on it when you let go of it and go flip along the green. And that'll make an exact copy and then we'll just line up these endpoints <clears throat> now whatever we do to this side will happen on the other side in other words if I take this and I say okay I'm going to start my wing cut out here and I delete this and if I go around here the same things taking place Alright, so let me go through and um, I'll do this section real quick. I can triple click this and right click and go reverse faces. That'll bring it back. It's just nice to keep it uniform. I'm going to triple click it again and I'm going, instead of making a component out of it, I know they're both going to be identical. And normally I would because there's tabbing and everything else you need to do, and, but I'm not going to do it right now. Uh, hit control to toggle the copy. Let go of it and hit flip along the green. I don't know if you can see that, but I hit flip along. Hmm. That's not showing up. Let me try over here. <clears throat> so I hit, uh, why it's still selected, I hit flip along green. All right, and then lock the points. Now that'll be one solid piece. So let's triple click it. Yep. And we'll go up here and hit component, create. Mm, that looks pretty good. Now, let's say I don't like. I'm gonna grab this tail section, move out here a little bit. I'm just grabbing this end points of the arc of this skin we just made. I'm gonna move it up a little bit because it just doesn't look right to me. And that looks pretty good. Now let's make the uh, <clears throat> let's move the former up to match. All right. Now I can actually go into this former and delete. This extra that we added here for the skin, little 16, and it should delete them for each one, and it did. Now at some point, you're going to have to say, well, you know, whatever I do to this one, like if I want to create a motor here, whoops, this is another tip too, to find the center, you can hover along, like for the circle tool, and you'll notice it turns blue for the midpoint. You can do the same thing here, it'll turn blue for the midpoint. And what you can do is, as you move up, probably can't see it in the video, but there's actually two lines here showing me that I was at the center there. The problem is, with this setup, as I uh, make holes, it'll make holes through every one of them, which, to scale, which could be something you want or, or might not be. So, uh, what you would do is, you would click on this, just to highlight it, right click on it, and put Make Unique, right here. And now, 
if I if I go in here and I make that same circle, I'm going to find the halfway point here and the halfway point here. Go up until they lock. And if they don't lock, just go back over there. Let me try to zoom in here. If the, if it doesn't lock, it, most of the time you have to wait till that little hot point comes up, the hot tip. If it doesn't lock, you see that little black dot it put on there. Just try it again. And I can delete this. <clears throat> Alright, so now there's our uh, motor mount. And then the rest of these, like these two, you might want to keep the same because you're going to tab them a certain way. Um, but the, um, oops, let me get rid of this. You know, the next move would be to fill in this bottom section. Uh, keep it in mind that you have a certain thickness for the foam here. Um, so let's go through. Let's see. And let's flatten this out real quick. The way I would do this is to group these together. Or um, I'm selecting these using the selection tool. Just uh, You can click on one and then hold down control. You get that same plus sign. That means you want more than one selection. <clears throat> and then using the move tool, you can hold down control again to make a copy just of this shell. Okay, now I'm going to separate these, move this out a little bit, and oops, move this out a little bit. For these two, I'm going to explode these. And while they're still selected like that, I'm going to make it a component. Well, actually, I shouldn't know. But anyway, that makes it one. I'm going to select all three of these. I'm going to hit explode. And then I'm going to take a square here and draw a little flat plane on the zero level. <clears throat> and we'll use that as a flat uh, a point to layer, lay these down flat in a minute. <clears throat> but we'll go to... Plugins. If you don't have it, go to the Unfold tool. And once you, the Unfold tool is selected, you can go through, starting at the first face, and start unfolding. And don't forget, even with the selection tool on, you can still press your middle mouse button down and orbit, which is super helpful for this tool. Okay, now they're all selected, but this thing's standing straight up. It could be at an angle or whatever, but you take this and click here, and boom, it lays it flat. Because that that's acting like the last face. This is kind of a way to trick it. So let's triple click that and make a component out of it. And then let's go over here and do the same thing with the unfold tool. We'll go to tools, I mean plugins, unfold tool. using the middle mouse to orbit zoom out lay that flat and then we'll make a component plugins unfold tool <clears throat> now you know, you can make this a as complex as you want. I, I just want to give you a quick overview of how the basic operations of it work. <clears throat> and we'll make a component. Now what I'm going to do is take go to camera and take perspective off. I'm going to go to the top view right here. <clears throat> and what I want to do is find the center points of these lines, of these skins. And I'm just going to lock them like this. You'll notice that this one's not exactly straight. So what you would do in this case, what I would do, is draw... Let me get rid of the selection. I would draw a straight line like this along a certain axis. Just like that. And then I would select this and using my rotate tool from that same point I drew that line. I would grab the one that I wanted to meet and boom that thing's straight now we could delete that line if we don't like this being crooked because now it's uh, we basically just rotated it we can explode this and then re remake it a component and we'll go over here find the center 